Welcome to Smokey Approved. I really just had to, I had to throw the camera on real quick and just kind of get this one out. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to get it out as soon as possible, but we got new Kendrick. I got to check it out. You know, you know me. I, I really like rhymes. So one of the top premier MCs from my side of the world finally drops a new record on the cusp of him finally giving us another album. You know I'm about to check it out. Uh, I hopefully I can beat the copyright with this one. We're going to try, but uh, if not, you know, it'll be out as soon as possible. But uh, this is Smokey Approved. I'm your host, Journalist. Thank you to everybody that's been checking this out. I am trying to get the 500 subs right now. We are currently at 315. Thank you to everybody that has been subbing, liking, commenting, suggesting videos. It is greatly appreciated, and it is, like, it's a massive help. And if you can't see, this is over, this is not even all the tabs. There was over 120 tabs. Well, 121 because i added this kendrick one myself but there's 120 tabs here so i'm trying to get through them all like i'm trying i'm trying so uh yeah let's get into this one now loving you is complicated loving you is complicated oh god damn i did this shit again my headphones is off All right, now we should be able to hear it. All right, this production already. So, Jesus, let me just let it rock a little bit more. Jesus, come on. As I get a little older, I realize life is perspective. And my perspective may differ from yours. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been down with me. Listen, if you've if you've ever performed live and made music, then you know this is a the production style is set up for a live performance. All my fans, all my beautiful fans. Anyone who's ever gave me a listen. All my people. I come from a generation of pain will murder his minor. Rebellious and more jealous, a chip you for designer. Belt buckles to cloud over zealous and prone to violence. Make the wrong turn, be your will of the will alignment. Residue burn, miss that the inner city. Miscommunication to keep homo detector busy. No protection is risky. Desensitized, I vandalize pain. Covered up and camouflage. Get used to hearing arsenal rain. Analyze, risk your life, take the charge. Homies, don't fuck your baby mama once you hit the yard. That's culture. 23 hour lockdown. Then somebody called, said your little nephew was shot. Yo, that. <sighs> the honesty of like yo that is the culture but niggas trying to act like it's not or just like i've heard other rappers speak on this so like um push the t had a record where he's talking about uh like how are we gonna delegate a niggas bills how are we gonna take care of a niggas family and then which of one of us is gonna fuck this niggas bitch the best like that's a paraphrasing of the bar but it's like it's again it's just like <sighs> yo the boy's on it already Shut down, the coach is involved. I done seen niggas do 17. Hit the halfway house, get out and get his brains blown out. Looking to buy some weed, car washes played out. New GoFundMe accounts to proceed. A brand new victim, a shadow those dreams, the culture. For my culture to let y'all know this nigga did not face switching no fucking fucking oj i'm not black i'm oj jesus christ yo shout out to the cgi man too like yo this is all right so this is why i have a moment as well for me what i've always noticed about kendrick's career when it comes to his albums he has done the one thing that a lot of people don't do which is he goes completely left every time. And the reason he goes completely left every time is because niggas is always going to want that old shit. But in the in the hip-hop culture, growth is actually not something that is wanted by a core fan base or by really hip-hop. Once you get known for something, we want you to do that thing for a very long time. So I've respected it that once he gave his good, cat, good kid Mad City, 
he said fuck that shit and dropped the pimple butterfly right after that shit completely like antithetical to the fire the first project and then right after that he fucking drops what i think it's like damn i believe it's the album after that and then we're getting this shit like you can't say that any album you've ever heard from kendrick is a major album sounds like any other major album that comes out at that time or any other album that you've heard from fucking kendrick and i think that is where he forces the growth upon the fan base because the fan base won't allow you to grow if you continue to feed them the same shit. They'll just keep taking that shit. Like, push it to you. Just a great parallel. Just, hey, I'm not, he ain't forcing me to grow when I come to listen to his music. In, in certain ways he is, but, like, overall, like, it's, it's still the same cocaine raps. But they're, they're, they're elevated raps, but they're still the same. Versus Kendrick is same musical concepts except the music is different the the approach is different the introspective nature of each record is different so it's like oh shit man we're probably gonna get a real masterpiece with this one i don't even know what this is gonna be on is this gonna be on the steppers or the other joint look what i done for you look what i done for you i said i do this for my culture to let y'all know what a nigga look like in a bulletproof rover in my mama's sofa was a doodle popper hair trigger walk up closer ain't no photoshopping friends bipolar grab you by your pockets no option if you froze up i always play the offense niggas going to work and selling work late for work working late praying for work but he on paperwork that's the culture point the finger promote you remote location witness protection they go hold you the streets got me fucked up y'all can miss me i want to represent for us young jesse new revolution was up and moving i'm in argentina and wiping my tears full of confusion water in between us another peer's been executed history repeats again make amends then find a nigga with the same skin to do it but that's the culture crack a bottle hard to deal with the pain when you're sober by tomorrow we forget the remains we start over that's the problem our foundation was trained to accept whatever follows Dehumanize, insensitive, scrutinize the way we live for you and I. Enemy shook my hand, I can promise I'll meet you in a land where no equal is your equal. Never say I ain't told you. Mm. Nah. In a Big land Willie. where hurt people hurt more people. Fuck calling it culture. In the land where hurt people hurt people. After this man then just slap somebody, you got the Will Smith S on too? Like, <sighs> come on, blood. Like, <laughs> There's so much going on with the lyrics, the way the music interacts with the lyrics and what it's all going to actually mean. This is one of those records like, yo, we're only three and a half minutes in. But this is one of those records where it requires multiple listens and an actual active listening ear to really discern all the messaging. Because you're going to get everything. If, you, if you've been listening long enough to this person or you were smart enough at a certain level, you're going to get most of the shit that was intended on the first listen. But over what makes, to me, a great hip-hop record or great music is when I can listen to it 15 years from now, feel like I already knew what one bar was, and then 15 years later be like, fuck, that's what that bar actually meant? Like, it was actually a connector to this bar. Like, oh, my fucking God. Like, like a lot of this shit is not like, oh, man. Like, oh, there's so much. Celebrate new life when it come back around. The purpose is in the lessons we learning now. Sacrifice personal gain over everything. Just to see the next generation better than ours. I wasn't perfect, the skin I was in that truly suffered. Temptation and patience, everything that the body nurtures. I felt the good, I felt the bad, and I felt the worry. But all in all, my productivity has stayed urgent. Face your fears, always knew that I would make it here. Where the energy is magnified and persevered. Consciousness is synchronized and crystal clear. 
Euphoria's glorified and made his. Reflecting on my life and what I done. Big homie. Made dues, made rules, change out of love. Them same views made schools change curriculums, but didn't change me staring down the barrel of that gun. <clears throat> Should I feel resentful? I didn't see my full potential. Should I feel regret about the good that I was into? Everything is everything. This ain't coincidental. I woke up that morning with more heart to give you as I bleed through the speakers, feel my presence. To my brother, to my kids, I'm in heaven. To my mother, to my sis, I'm in heaven. To my father, to my wife, I'm serious. This is heaven. To my friends, make sure you count them blessings. Yo, having Nip's face on while you're saying the lines, I'm in heaven. Like, like to me, I'm not even going front. Like, I'm the world's biggest Nipsey fan. I'm not even fucking close. Like, no. Like, I'm very critical of this person, actually. But I respect the messaging and the intent behind it. And then also, nigga, you're an L.A. native. And to make sure that, like, hey, this happens during this time, like, that's that's respect paid that a lot of people don't even take the time to think about things on a more intricate level. Again, just the boy is just so class so far. This is. I really hate the fact that in my country, this these type of artists, only one of them gets to be top 10 at a time. Like, we're not going to see nine other motherfuckers that also can make music at this level also getting this level of respect and then also critical acclaim and spotlighting but when this shit comes out we're all gonna act like we're the most backpack rappers ever like we've not been listening to drill trap and motherfucking the city girls for the past fucking two three years like like it's, uh, to me i just feel it's really terrible that it's rare that artists that are really good with words and positive messaging or an introspective message that challenges the status quo on both ends because he's also challenging what he's saying in the culture that's a rebuke or a, a figure point back at us is black african americans it's like yo like that's the culture like oh man like oh my god like i could i could spend fucking i probably spent an hour on this record honestly <laughs> To my fans, make sure you make them investments Until the killer that spared up my demise I forgive you, just know your soul's in question I Yo, I know I keep stopping it But like, when rappers of this level Start rhyming so much more and more about death I, one, don't like that shit But on the side of just talking about this bar Imagine Being so comfortable in yourself and accepting the inevitable because we all die that you have the gumption to write into one of your records that may it happen that somebody does take my life i've already come to terms with that shit and i want to give you the forgiveness that the world's not going to give you and i give it to you here on an open platform because i'm that fucking famous <sighs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, yo. I seen the pain in your pupil when that trigger had squeezed. And though you did me gruesome, I was surely relieved. I completed my mission, wasn't ready to leave. But fulfilled my days, my creator was pleased. I can't stress how I love y'all. I don't need to be in flesh just to hug y'all. The memories recollect just because y'all. Celebrate me with respect, the unity we protect is above all. And Sam, I'll be watching over you. Make sure my kids watch. I wasn't gonna say it, but they switched it into the fucking to the nip face again like it sounded like he was speaking from like speaking for somebody from the grave like oh fuck there's so many levels to this shit watch all my interviews make sure you live out our dreams we produce keep that genius in your brain on the move until my neighborhood let the good prevail make sure them babies and the leaders out of jail look for self i'd like to point out to anybody that's not from fucking out here doesn't understand that neighborhood bar was a fucking entendre Oh, fuck, man. Patient when troubles get real. Cause you can't help the world until you help yourself. And I can't blame the hood the day that I was killed. You had to see it, that's the only way to feel. And though my physical won't reap the benefits, oh the energy to carry on admit still, I want you. Yo. If this is the lead single. I don't think we're gonna he'll probably have a fucking radio record on there but I hope not I hope they're all fucking master class album cuts like this cause this is an album cut where a motherfucker would love to listen to this for hours and just keep going over it and keep going over it oh fuck man just ah, again just like to put it in niggas face like that like yo it sucks that Nip had to fucking die but the only way you niggas really felt that message was after the messenger got took, but the messenger got his message out. 
Oh man, that's just yeah, hey, man. Yo, man, respect to this nigga. Like again, an artist like is like from my own personal journey. Like I came up not like directly under this person, but like I've been in a close proximity to this person damn near their entire career when they was fucking Kenny when they turned into K-Dot like then they fucking turned into fucking Kendrick like I've been close to all of these fucking changes so to see this person now get to hear fuck man like this is this is to me some, like this is deeper music than most people are even trying to ever make in their entire career and i feel like he's been making slow inroads to get to this point in his musical career from bucking day one and now that they're making music like this it's just to me it's just truly crazy like these are just amazing records that just this song is dope as shit and it's not even on no oh this is like it's got replay value because it's going to get the club popping. No, it's got replay value if you were willing to take the time to sit down and listen and try and decipher the message, one, but then also internalize it because that's going to be the, the goal. Or I feel like that's what the goal from what I'm hearing is, is if you internalize the messaging from him in this this record, the rebukes of that's the culture, that's going to make you want to change shit. It's going to make you want to. If you're in the hood and you fucking dealing with fucking violence all your goddamn days, then you're going to possibly, like, pause on the violence, maybe. Like, or that's the hope that this can do. It's like, maybe I can start looking at the brother on the other side of this fucking gun as my brother instead of the nigga I got to fucking get rid of. Like, there's just, there's a lot that he's trying to fucking do with this message. Or, excuse me, this song. And it, the messaging in the song is just, bro, like, I'm not taking my hat off because shit. <laughs> I already got it on, but metaphorical hat off, fucking Jesus, this is hard as fuck, and I don't know just, oh, let me gas it, because we ain't heard nothing, if you write records, if you rhyme at a premiere level, or want to, and you hear this, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, now, if you're just one of those heady music fans that just listens to shit, and it just gets to you like that, then that's perfectly fine, the perspective I speak of, or from, is from a person who, shit, I'd love to aspire to be able to write a record like this, to be able to tear down my own walls, to then be able to rebuild myself, and then be able to go record a record with the things that I found afterwards, that is a that's a journey that a lot of people are too fair to even fucking go on or just to risk their entire music career on it. Like, this nigga's like, oh, fuck it. This is what we're doing. Like, granted, he's been, he's built a cachet for these things. But, like, he's been doing that his entire fucking career. And a lot of people can't do that shit. And you just got to respect it. Man, like, hey. Jesus. This, hey. <sighs> Album of the year is going to be a tough fucking fight when this motherfucker drops. I can't wait. Hey, this is uh, Kendrick Lamar's The Heart Part 5. I just had to throw the camera on for this one. It was just the MC that I just thoroughly respect. I'm going to I'm gonna be sitting with this record for at least a couple months to just make sure that I got everything out of it that the artist intended for me to get. Because I'm just, it, I definitely, I didn't get everything I needed to. One, because I'm reacting. And then two, I'm just like... Not just the reacting in the video, but if I was doing this at home, I still wouldn't have got it off the first listen. Because I'm like, I'm how I'm stopping it now and talking to you people. I would be thinking about these things while I'm fucking hearing the record. So I still wouldn't have gotten it. Yeah, man. Fucking. Yeah, like I said, I could go on about this shit all day. Just keep running it back and just finding new things to, to just note to you all. But uh, yeah, if there's more Kendrick records you guys will let me check out, or like if you would like a more like detailed breakdown of like flow patterns the messages he's using the things that i think of the point of views or the places that he's like trying to like go with the stuff that he's saying then please let me know i'd be happy to do that shit i already got this video being way too long but man i gotta do what i gotta do I gotta show it its proper respect and yeah hopefully i can get this out but uh thank you for stopping by i'm your host journalist this is smoky approved thank you to everybody that's gonna check this out because this is one of the longer videos that i do put out i don't normally do them this long uh but yeah Thank you for stopping by. I'm out of here.